Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 playing as Bosnia. We haven't uh, actually seen one of these episodes in a couple of weeks. I have been extremely busy trying to find a new job, been traveling out of state, been down to Virginia uh, a couple weeks ago for about half the week. Last week I spent the whole week in Georgia, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to record. But we're back to it. I'm back home. We're going to be playing some more Europa Universalis 4. I actually had to watch the last episode that I had uploaded to kind of catch up on where I was because it's been so long. But what happened last episode was we pretty much uh, converted all of our provinces over to Protestantism. As you can see that the Protestant Reformation has happened. And uh, Scandinavia, as well as uh, this little section here in Central Europe pretty much here where uh, oh, we have Saxony and Brandenburg and Bohemia have all... Um, converted over to protestantism and we have converted most of our provinces over but now our if we look here our um our religion can't be converted anymore just because there's too much unrest there's a number of different factors that come into play but since we have our humanist ideas um that shouldn't be too much of a problem because we are very tolerant of other religions and cultures we're also at war with um I, who was it with we are at war right here we are we're at war with liege because austria our ally our only ally has gone to war with liege and we have broken our alliance with hungary because we figured it would be better to try to expand um north into uh into hungary once we find a appropriate opportunity to do that and we also uh i think we got some claims on some of these territories yes just a couple of these so this one here that we were going to uh, put a claim on so we could unify our territories in this section and then here in uh, Slavonia and I think that was the only one that we put a claim on so let's go ahead and kick this off kick that speed up a little bit and we'll get going on this next episode Okay, so Lorraine entered their military alliance with Cologne. That's not that big of a deal. They're uh, they're simply allied with. Oh, hold on. Italian engineer available during the period 1450 to 1600. Italian siege engineers were highly sought after to teach the ways of the trace Italian to militaries of Europe. In most cases, these engineers had no national identity and simply worked for whoever could afford to pay them. Pretty much like today. So we can gain, uh, we can hire the engineer to gain 40 military power and lose 13 ducats, or we can lose 10 prestige uh, by declining the offer. And I think we'll go ahead and hire the engineer. Why not? Not that much money. We're bringing in about 230 every turn. Not that much. Um, we're also working on uh, a workshop, a workplace, and a barracks here. We have about 10 days left on each of those. Remember, we have Serbia as our march. And uh, we've got some pretty strong uh, hostile tensions between the Ottomans. So 229 we're bringing in now that those uh, buildings have been built. Let's kick it up to four here. Any missions? Uh, nothing. How much do they want us to build? 20 army. Well, let's recall the diplomat. So we can't really afford to build uh, a total of 20, so we're not going to do that. So we'll close that out. Do we have any disputed secessions that are worth it? Uh, not really. We can build. Truce expiring. We just go through these, the Knights and Treya. Uh, countries at war, right? Rebel uprising. Let's go ahead and pause this here. Spiring busted. Some of our diplomats have been implicated in a major espionage operation. Now every ambassador or emissary we send is suspected of being a, sp a spy and subject to the harshest examinations when they send their appointed missions. When they end their appointed missions. It will take some time to restore our reputation. So this is a disappointment and we've got suspected diplomats which gives an envoy travel time of plus 25%. That's really not a big deal. That's probably one of the least worrisome missions you could get in the game. Uh, 
Uh, you can convert. Okay, let's go ahead and convert Zeta. We'll do that. Eight months. And let me check the uh, uprising quickly. See how far away. I believe it was Catholics. 27 years, yeah, the Catholics wanted to pop up. Um, not going to worry about that too much. Whoops, there goes my timer. Uh, civil disorder, right? Uh, Portugal, what's Portugal doing way over here? Hmm. Uh, okay, let's see. Accepted peace from their enemies, so the war is over. And uh, with the conquest costs, Bella Austria gains 10 prestige. Um... Hmm. They didn't take any territory, they just conceded defeat. Seems like a waste of time to me. Western arms trade, technology cost of minus 10%. We've been getting a lot of that late lately. Um, and it looks like uh, Trier and Austria. We've got another Western arms trade. Trier and Austria gain an alliance. The Hungary and Lithuania are our rivals now. Still don't have enough money for uh, some some advisors. Rebel uprising, provincial unrest, too few rivals. Now let's take a look here. Hungary, Milan, Naples, or Tuni. Let's see here. Is Austria still allied with Hungary? They are. Allied with Aragon. What was the other one? Uh, Tuni. Allied with the Ottomans in Granada. And then the last one was uh, Milan. Which we're not going to do, but perhaps... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe rival Hungary? Call the diplomat. Let's send a diplomat down to uh, Poland, and perhaps another one to. Conversion was successful, so we have one more province has been converted over. Can't convert any of the other ones at this moment. Now let's look at hmm, maybe. Bohemia. Let's try Bohemia. Increase our relations with Bohemia. Because they are converting over to Catholicism as well. <sighs> Alright. How far away are we from a idea? Almost. Not Poland. We'll recall him. Uh, right. So, was I doing anything with these. I don't think I was. Okay, so... Indirect rule. We've got years of separatism minus 10. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So years of separatism minus 10. That should uh, help our unrest. Any unrest issues that we might have. Austria here, 122, Milan, Switzerland, hmm. England still has a pretty big rebellion going on, English peasants. I think it's all, all a peasant rebellion, isn't it? Peasants, 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 yeah. And even Connaught has has some peasants. That are revolting. We're called diplomat from Bohemia. We've got a new national idea that we can look up here. Integrated elites. Diplomatic annexation cost of minus 25%. We will do that. Perfect. And we're about halfway through our uh, next military technology. Which is going to give us the Hussars. And uh, some new cannon, the Culverin and the Pedrero. And some maneuver um, abilities here, plus 25% on the improved flanking range. Oh. 
Improvements in trade technology. Our merchants have picked up a few new concepts when it comes to handling trade. When they encountered some foreign merchants, they think with they think that with some investment to try it out, it will be very beneficial for Bosnia in the long run. Spare no expense. We gain 0.5 inflation, gain 50 diplomatic power, or we can use caution and gain 10 diplomatic power. We're going to use caution because I don't want the inflation. My economy is pretty unstable as it is right now. <clears throat> now, somebody had said, it was actually my uh, subscriber from Bosnia, had said that I tr should try to recreate Yugoslavia, which in, um, in the vanilla game that we're playing now, Yugoslavia can't be formed. However, um, I can download a mod off the Steam Workshop that allows me to create Yugoslavia and a number of other nations if I was playing these other nations. And if you guys think that that's a good idea, go ahead and leave that in the comments. Um, tell me what you're thinking. If you know if it's safe compatible or not, because I looked it up and I couldn't tell if it was safe compatible. But if you have any knowledge on that, um, if I can download the mod and keep the saved game without having to restart over and uh, and then try to create Yugoslavia, I think that would be a good thing to do if, if you guys uh, want to see that. But I need a little bit more information on uh, on the mod itself. Uh-oh! Rise of a Pretender! The disputed succession of Stepan, and we don't know why he's disputed. I have no idea why he was disputed. Has caused the Pretender to rise and an army to march for the capital. God is with Stepan Chomyosivik. Uh, six Pretender regiments rise up in Dubrovnik. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. All right, we shouldn't have too much of a problem here. So let's um, let's go fight him, knock down this pretender here. Where is he going to be going? He's going to be going to Zeta. All right. So let's go ahead and attack him. He's got five regiments, uh, not enough. To, um, t to actually do the siege, and we've got 11, <coughs> but we're attacking into the mountains, which is going to give us a terrain penalty. And actually, uh, Serbia is going to come down and help us. We're taking actually a huge penalty hit from the mountains. So once Serbia gets here, we should be able to fight off this little rebellion, this pretender rebellion. They want to put somebody else on the throne. And I actually think that the new ruler was a little bit better, but we want to keep, we just, just for the sake, we wanted to keep, um, we wanted to keep our current ruler on. Now they've only got three regiments, we've got 16, but our morale is really, really low. Again, because we're fighting in the mountains here, as you can see down here, it looks like we're about ready to crush them. Yep. All right. There we go. We won. Perfect. Okay. Took pretty heavy losses in that. Um, again, you can see how fighting in the mountains really... Really, uh, it can hurt you if you're attacking. Gives you a huge defensive bonus. Serbia's going back. They came down and helped us. That was good. We're just going to recover our manpower here. We have 14,000 manpower. Was our prestige is actually quite low, but we're going up by plus two. And our legitimacy is just going up by 0.6 every year. Royal marriage from Austria. I think we can do that, can't we? Yes. We will take the royal marriage from Austria. Just to keep our relations up there. Yeah, they'll have a they'll have a huge alliance if we tried to attack Hungary uh, for these claims that we have. Let's kick the speed up a little bit. Okay, we're getting any money back? We're going down by 0.5. Yep, now we're going up. That's good. Okay.
So now he has a uh, strong claim on the throne because he beat out those pretenders. So that brought his legitimacy up quite a bit. He's a 4-4... Four, 4-2-2, four, four, two, two, rather. Current uh, guy is... 1-4-5. Uh, so pretty pretty balanced, but in the in the other way here. How old was he? When's he gonna die? He's 40... 44, yep. Truce expired with the knights. They are a vassal of Austria, we remember. And it looks like we've had... Byzantium has risen up now and is now a nation. I don't think they were there before, were they? I think Austria had, or not Austria, but the Ottomans had completely shut down um, any any nations in here. Mozovia. Okay. And what should we do next? Maybe increase our relations with... Look at the Crimea. The Crimea is huge. I've never seen a game where the Crimea has truce expired, whatever. Uh, religious civil disorder. I've never seen a game where, uh, where Crimea has gotten so big and where Muscovy has been whittled down to almost n nothing. Usually Muscovy gets huge. Religious disorder. So it looks like the uh, religious... Um, the Protestant Reformation is, uh, is expanding a little bit. Yeah. All of these little areas. Now, what do we have here? Oh, yeah. Right. So all of these little areas are popping up as Protestantism, and that'll soon spread. And then it looks like probably all of Central Europe will become Protestantism. Cities demand the old rights. Urban dwellers had always existed under a different code of rules than their rural, rural brethren. Even in the same state, just as monarchs looked to curb the privileges of nobles, they often tried to bring the cities under more uniform rules and regulations. The cities often resisted these efforts. We can deny the old rights to go down by one stability, we're at two, or we can accept them and lose 20 legitimacy. Now, we're already... We're already pretty low, uh... Let's let's take the hit on uh, on the stability. We'll take the hit on the stability. We're already up by plus two, so we're currently plus one with that hit. So that's not too bad of a hit. Not too bad. Now, what should we do? What should we do? The Ottomans have warned us again. Um, that's a little worrisome, but remember last time we uh, went to war with somebody and they didn't come to fight. And we're not exactly sure why that was. It could have been because they were already involved in a war, or they just didn't hold true to their word. Uh, we don't have any current plans to go to war with anybody right now, so... Religious disorder in Brunswick. We don't have any... Uh, plans to go to war with anybody immediately so we're not going to worry about that and that's going to go on for what is it 10 years i think i think the warning goes on for 10 years uh let's see 1532 so 20 years it goes on for 20 years The Ottomans are actually quite large. They've actually expanded up into uh, whatever this used to be here, the uh, March of Poland. They've completely wiped that out. I think, was it Mold Moldovia? I think is what it was. Yeah, Moldovia. Completely wiped out Moldovia, and they've pushed up into into this territory here. So I haven't played a game ever before that's, that's um, gone like that either. So things have gone quite interestingly so far. We 
Military technology is almost done. We're going to get some new cavalry, some new cannon. And we also have some... Right, we also... These are going to be done a couple of years as well. We'll uh, get some new ideas. Let's improve our relations with other Protestant nations as well. Uh, we fight the past, and it fights back. Dedication to more liberal understanding of a place of the citizen in the state means that our neighbors have branded us a rogue nation, committed to undermining the traditional rights of the crown, church, and the guild. Can we only trust those that think as we do? Hungary's opinion of us goes down by 20, Austria's goes down by 20, and Serbia's goes down by 20. We had this last time, I think, too. Uh, Cancelled military access, Hungary has. So Hungary is turning into not liking us very much. We've lost a claim on Slavonia. Shit. That probably means we're going to lose the claim here as well. Pretty soon, if we lost the claim on Slavonia. We can uh, convert Visoki over to Catholicism. We'll do that. That's going to take 50 months. Quite a while, but since it popped up, we might as well take it because it won't take forever. And let's recall... Let's recall the Saxony diplomat and increase our relations with uh, Serbia. They're our march, and we don't want them going sour on us. Oh, and we got a new technology we can invest in. Military technology. We'll go ahead and take that. And let's go with... Uh, let's see, the Pedrero or the Culverin. Pretty much the only difference is that uh, we've got some morale or shock defense. Same on fire. This one's got a defensive shock of one and a morale of offensive morale of one. And this is just has offensive and defensive morale of one. So let's go with the. Let's go with the Culverin. We'll take the Culverin and then the Cavalry, the Eastern Hussars. Perfect. Okay. We've only got one Cavalry unit. We've got nine infantry, one Cavalry, and one Cannon. A large revolt. Looks like we're going to have another revolt here. Although we were well aware that no one likes paying taxes, you would think that the people would have the sense to realize that glorious victories on the battlefield require a little more taxation. It seems we'll have to explain that to them. And in Roska, we get six peasant regiments that rise up. That won't be too bad. We can take them out quite quickly. They're going to go down to Zeta, so they're going to have a mountain advantage. But they're peasants, so it shouldn't be too bad. And it looks like Serb... Whoops. Civil disorder again. It looks like Serbia is going to come down and help us. Peasant revolt is over. Okay. All right. What are we at? About 21 minutes. Let's get to next year. Um, we'll get to 15-15, and uh, we'll call it quits. Uh, now we can um, research a new influence idea. This one is going to be state proper propaganda. As with a man, a nation's reputation is everything, and the establishment of an official propaganda service will ensure that our Good name it is not smeared by the lives by the lies of our enemies. Aggressive expansion impact of minus twenty percent. We will take that. Okay, and we'll just get it to um, we'll get it to fifteen fifteen, and we'll we'll stop it there. We're at about twenty two twenty three minutes, according to my timer here.
We're at September. Not much longer to go. Religious turmoil. Let's take a look at this religious map. See how things are developing. Big chunk here in uh, Central Eastern Europe. Down in Southeastern Europe. And a few, few new... Uh, Protestant reformations popping up in uh, in you know central western Europe so another month to go we'll recall that diplomat from Castile or Castile Castile I guess and that's it Truce expired, truce expired, and uh, religious civil disorder in Sweden. Whoa. Yep, yeah, pretty much all of Scandinavia has been converted over just about. Okay, we're going to go ahead and stop it here. If you guys want to see more Europa Universalis 4, it feels really good to get back into it after a couple of weeks of uh, being away. But if you want to see more of this, give it a like, give it a comment. Tell me your ideas, tell me your concerns, your complaints, whatever. Leave it in the comments. I respond to all my comments and I appreciate them greatly. And uh, we'll see you again next time for the next episode. Thanks for watching.